Uh, this mural is about um, poverty and mental health and how those two issues are tied together very tightly. Well, each one is uh, it's a, it's its own unique art piece. So uh, you know, each time it's a challenge, and each time it's uh, it, it's pretty fun. It's a joy to just have people come by and help and contribute. And for this topic uh, specifically, you know, this one is one that uh, a lot of people struggle with in darkness. You know, you don't see it, and if you do see it, then at that point, it's always uh, people who are in crisis. So this is something that people really have to uh, be aware of that poverty can lead to mental illness and it becomes a vicious cycle and people feel more and more isolated from society and they find it harder and harder to build themselves up, especially since there's such a stigma on being poor and on having a mental illness. And both of these are just normal, you know, human experiences in this society. My name is Dana and I've been following this campaign um, on Twitter and on Facebook and I know a couple of the organizers so I've just been waiting for a time that I was able to come and today is the day so I'm just here to support and to kind of add my piece. Yeah. Um, I think it's really powerful. I think that there, I saw like the graffiti kind of done by kind of what seems like passerbys um, and I think that that's really important that like everyone can add something and that everyone has a story to tell um, about mental health and I think that the place that they're at so I, we're at yes at the armory um, and that's a really important place because many young people who are here um, live those cycles of poverty mental health and criminalization and I think it just ties into everything that they're doing and is a really important place for even passerbys at the fringe to learn something about the realities of young people in Edmonton um, today. So it's awesome. My name is Colleen Ring. I am a board member with the Edmonton Gandhi Foundation. And I actually came down to the area to meet with uh, Renee, who's the director of the John Humphrey Center for Peace and Human Rights. And they're one of the organizations involved with the Spiral Project. Blown away. I was really blown away by the size of it, by the message that's being conveyed, and just the fact that it is such a, an amazing community undertaking, uh, that there are some incredible artists that are doing the work. It's better to have something to help people out that are out here. Show them why it's not to do on the street and get them back into their homes. It's creative. Um, I think that it's better for them to go back to their homes, find a better place to go, and restart their lives. It's increasing more people dying also because they can't take it anymore, especially if they're out on the street. They have nowhere to get their meds sent to. So their only solution is to end their life. One of the things that I thought was really positive today was some of the quotes that uh, people brought. Um, so yeah, I'm sure you guys will see the photos, but there's a lot of like really great uh, messages that are kind of hidden within the mural. So that's something that's really good.